Hi, this is John Kenlopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. We're going to speak about our favorite subject here, which is uh, the cornea. And this is a 44-year-old gentleman who comes in uh, stating that he's an accountant. He uses near glasses. His distance vision out of the right eye is 2016. And he sees slightly uh, green better than uh, red. So we know at 44, he's slightly hyperopic. His left eye uh, refracts to plus two minus four, uh, depicting um, high astigmatism, and uh, does not correct better than um, 2060, but he pinholes to 2025. And let's go take a look at the um, topographies on this gentleman. And this, the reason I'm showing you this example is something we have talked time over time that uh, cornea normality is a pachymetry entity and not a cornea shape entity. So we're seeing his right eye, the pachymetries are impeccable. We're seeing the left eye that um, gives away the very high astigmatism and the fact that the pachymetry is exactly the same. So the astigmatism is a product of this dimension of the cornea being much shorter, thus in power, the lens is a, the cornea as a lens rather is much stronger on this meridian, therefore the very strong width rule of astigmatism. He's been labeled as an amblyopic because understandably nobody so far was able to refract this gentleman um, better than um, 2060, 2070, and unfortunately nobody tried to use a gas permeable lens to see that with that he would be at least at 2025. And again, I'm showing the comparison some of the pachymetry maps of the right eye and the left eye. And what is missing from this assessment? Uh, we test our residents all the time on this. What's missing is making sure that the eye with the high sill does not have any signs of decimate split from a forceps delivery. And that would be an excuse um, for an acquired significant astigmatic um, uh, reality in one eye versus the other eye. So summing up here, he came in to do laser in both eyes. We're not gonna do laser on his right eye, which is 2016 uncorrected at distance because he's gonna turn myopic at the age of 44. We're definitely gonna do LASIK on the left eye. He has all the per good parameters in the world to do this. We'll, we'll, of course, do um, topography guided with TNT or the amazing technology of ray tracing that has really underlined that our TNT topography um, modified uh, refraction, uh, TMR rather, topography guided uh, is the way to go. Cycle rotation adjustment here is key um, because uh, we know that eight degrees um, off would all correct almost half of the astigmatism. We can predict that with him pinhole at 2025 today, this eye, six, seven years down the line, will be better than his right eye because his right eye in his 50s will be probably a plus one, plus one and a half, and his visual acuity, his, its uncorrected visual acuity will drop under 2020, where this eye will remain, will actually build up to at least 2020, and with a very high asphericity, will also have better depth of focus and be much better at near. So when he comes to the need to need distance glasses from the right eye, he will be mature, in my opinion, to undergo probably a uh, hyperopic uh, LASIK at the time, but not currently. Very good example for many reasons, the age, how we approach hyperopic patients. If they do not have a need for distance glasses, we do not treat hyperopia at this interim age in their 40s, and how we know that uh, half of the people who come to us with a label of amblyopia are not amblyopic. He pinholed to, to 2025. His RGP vision is almost 2020. We know that he cannot correct this with spectacles. He can only collect it with a gas permeable lens or with um, topography guided with topography modified refraction, our signature technique, um, LASIK or PRK. This is John Kenlopoulos. Thanks for your attention. Signing off from Athens here in Athens, Greece.